Hey, what's up guys? BossX7 here, and today I have something really special for you guys. Uh, I figured out how to make hydraulic launch fins that actually move in stock No Limits 2. This uses no scripting. All, all it uses is just uh, style separators and a little trick I just figured out. So, I've been trying to figure this out for a while, but uh, here's what we have. It's pretty sweet. I'm excited to show you guys. Alright, so let's test it out. Alright, here we go. Here's the stock hydraulic launch fin. All right, so let's get a closer look here. All right, so you can see all the fins. I just built this uh, small thing out of supports in the middle here. It's pretty easy. But I'll show you guys how to be making this in a second here. I'm just gonna do one more demo. All right, here we go. And they go back up, just like that. How sweet is that, guys? All right, so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this today. It's uh, pretty simple. It took a while to figure out, and I had to do a lot of tweaking. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get these uh, trim brakes closer together, just like this. So it kind of looks like a, a really solid brake run here, with a lot of trims. But yeah, so let's get started here. All right, so the first thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and make your coaster. And it's a little tricky to get this part set up, but it has to be a launch coaster, of course. <laughs> All right, so go to your, uh, your coaster file, go unfreeze, and you'll see how I did this here. So the actual launch is actually a, uh, a brake run with a bunch of uh, style separators in them. So click on your brake run. All right, so go to track and go to type settings. Now, whatever the speed of your launch is, make that the brake speed limit. So the speed of my launch is 60 miles an hour. So make the brake speed limit 60 miles an hour. Make sure it's on friction brake, block brake. Keep all of this the same, doesn't matter. Now make sure the deceleration is on zero and enable transport device. Press high transport device. Make sure the speed is your launch speed. Acceleration, whatever you want. Deceleration, whatever you want. And make sure first car default and make sure it starts at the beginning. All right, now after that, go to your station go to section type or just double click on it if that works all right type settings transfer settings and go to uh, launch enabled and make it 60 miles an hour or whatever your launch speed is and press ok all right now with the type separators I mean the style separators place them every single um, every one of these <laughs> can't forget the name all right cross ties every single one of these cross ties and it'll, you'll see the track kind of adjust but just keep on skipping one like you'll see I'll show you guys in a sec so go to type separator and start right here you see how the track changes so just go to the next one like this just like that skip to the next one same thing just keep going keep doing that along the entire uh, stretch your launch and it's basically the same thing for the trim brake so click on the trim brake go to type settings and speed limit set your speed limit the acceleration set that and all you have to do for this is just do the style separators so that's that's what gets the, the brake fins closer together and give that cool effect and so you can also add the actual cable launch in the middle using supports I just used three nodes I just made a new coaster went and called it launch unfreeze it's just three simple nodes on each side preferences is uh, snap distance 0.25 so these are all 0.25 apart same on this side and these end ones here are 0.3 width by 0.5 height. And this one right here is one width, which is going this way along the track and 0.2 height. All right, so you put it all together, freeze it. All right, it looks really nice. It's got each brake fin has its own piston that uh, allow the brakes to move up and down just like real hydraulic launches. Now it does move on to the brake pad just a tiny bit, but there's nothing I can do about it about that since it's not scripted or anything. But yeah, so if you guys want to know how to do this, here you go. And um, this is it takes no scripting at all. It's just all in game, which is pretty cool. Which is what I been trying to do here for the past little while now. Um, but yeah, and this uh, simple part here, 
the cable launch. You can add more detail to that if you want, but it's non-functional, of course. <laughs> it's just aesthetic. So yeah, I'll show you guys this in play mode a few more times. So see you guys in a sec. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I really hope it was helpful, I had a lot of fun making this, uh, it took a long time to get it figured out and working, but here's the, uh, the actual working version, so if you guys uh, like this video, don't forget to share, leave a like, and uh, subscribe for more.